Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will make a sketch of a ballerina a little bit surrealistic. We begin sketching the mood line or the line of action. That was an arm and the torso of the body and down here a leg. And the other arm. All these lines don't need to be very exact. The head up here, the hairline, the eyes, the nose and the mouth. They are just suggested. I mean a few lines that indicate the part, nothing in detail. A sketch can have many purposes. One of those is preparing for a bigger work of art. Like in this case, right now I'm making a fairly quick sketch to then next week make a watercolor of it. So right now I'm not very worried if something comes out of proportion or not very nice because what I am interested in is working out the pose and the different elements of the painting. For example, the original mood line that I made at the beginning was actually pretty bad <laughs> as I end up making the figure a lot smaller than I originally thought and therefore you see a line on the left of the leg and on the right of the arm that will stay there because I cannot erase them. But normally nobody sees these sketches. They stay in my private notebooks and help me make my art. But this time I wanted to show you how I make a sketch. I think it is interesting and important. Here we draw a flamingo with the very long neck and the body. The legs slender and long and some feathers. Here another flamingo that is going the opposite way but is looking back to see the ballerina. And let's make another tree on this side. The body with the neck and up here the head with a large beak. And we do some feathers and the legs and water. The last one will be here. Very good. Let's do a little bit more detail and refining the figure. I'm doing the shading with lines, hatching and cross hatching, but I'm trying to be loose with this one. So I'm also doing some scribbling here on the flying gown and in some other places. All right. The line that is on the left of the leg looks very bad. I will convert it into a plant and draw other plants over here, trying to create a setting and trying to save the sketch. <laughs> I will not make those on the actual painting. Another good reason to make sketches is that they may help you loosen the fear of drawing, especially if nobody has to see them. <laughs> and it's ready. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends, and subscribe to Finer Tips. You know where to follow me, the links are below. And I will see you on Tuesday.